Sweet Neptune. Ooh, what's up, doggy dogs? It's the iPad King again. Um, yeah, anyways. So look, today we're gonna talk about the cheapest and the easiest iRacing setup, all right? We are talking about the wheels, the pedals, the chair, the monitor, everything you need to get rolling into this whole game, all right? Now, it's just on the other side of this door, so let's go take a look. Before I show y'all, I told y'all it's the easiest and the cheapest. And y'all about to believe me, all right? Oh, man. Oh, oh, come on now. Come on now, get serious. Look at this. I'm telling you, bro, the controller, the beanbag, the TV, son. The cheapest and easiest setup right here. Let me jump you into the details. First up, we got a $30 beanbag from Walmart. Held up to the true test. About one year in right there, looking a little flat, but that's okay. We love a good beanbag. Number two, we got the old $20 wireless keyboard Logitech, baby. Yeah, that's a name brand. That, that might as well be Chevy right there. Number three, this what everybody gonna love. The old PS4 controller. You better, you better stop disrespecting me right now. I know what y'all thinking. Yeah, stop disrespecting me right now. We got the old, I don't know, Logitech some headphones, you know. <sighs> I come in peace. Next up, the most expensive part of this set, but you know, it's the essential. The old 65 inch TV. It's just a little JVC, so it ain't crazy or nothing. But we got this joint at Sam's for about 400 something dollars. And you know, that's a, that's a good price right there. It done the job since day one. Woohoo! Thicker than your mama. Last and not least, son, the old pre built computer. This came in about 650. You know, I was told if I want to build it myself, it's going to cost a lot more when the, uh, whatever the market was looking like about a year ago. So I just went with the old pre-built because I don't want to build no damn computer anyway. So this is the setup. Sit on that beanbag, kick your feet up, put the old controller on, put your headphones on, talk to your redneck friends, and kick back and watch on the old TV. You're probably asking yourself, what's it look like from an in-car? You know, this is what it looks like. Perfect, you can adjust as you need. Son, it's just fine for me. Like I said, that little low-end PC, it ain't gonna grab all them graphics out the game, but it do a decent job. It do a decent job, you see? One thing to keep in mind about this controller uh, I run a certain app called DS4, whatever that means, and it, it links it up. I keep it plugged in all the time, and it gives vibration out, all that, blah, blah, blah. Good to go right there, son. When it comes to results on this baby, they are A1. The only thing this setup lacks is true immersion. Now, some of y'all gonna be having a real good time on that wheel, feeling all the quirks and bumps and all that. Now that's cool and all, but I am missing that. That is the only drawback to this. But on the positive side, I don't have to have a giant desk with a wheel, all this and that to set up and go, you know? I could turn it into this and play FIFA, play iRacing, play Madden, whatever I wanna do. And you know, it's real simple, real easy, real cheap. Y'all probably thinking I'm a giant nerd and a giant nerd that sucks at eye racing, but really it ain't too bad. The highest eye rating I ever had was 4,500. The blue mark don't show it because that's just how it works. But you see 4,500, I'm about 4,100 right now, a little bit of a slump, you know what I'm saying? Here's a bit of some stat action for y'all. I only race ovals mainly. Uh, I will say, if you want to race a lot of road courses and stuff like that, I don't know if the controller is really the best route. 
because I've heard when you shift, there's a, uh, uh, I don't know what to call it, but it's slow when you shift. You're losing a lot of time during your shifts. So I really just stick to oval, 515 starts, 31 wins, 43 poles. We ain't in bad shape. There's going to be bigger fish in the sea. But you know, I think I'm holding my own weight, all right? I think I'm doing a good job treading this water. I'm going to spit some wisdom at you guys real quick. It doesn't matter how much your whole setup costs. It doesn't matter if you race with a wheel with gloves on and race shoes and all this and that. What matters is when you're racing, if you're smart, intelligent, and if you're having fun during a race. That's what really matters to me. I have a lot of fun on this. And I know a lot of people have wheels and pedals and all that. They want to take it super serious, and that's fine. They can do that. I don't really plan on being a professional driver, so I just try to have fun, you know? But don't let anybody discourage you about the price of your setup or whatever graphics you run. It really doesn't matter. You can just go smoke them on track or just go wreck them, honestly. All right, y'all. That's it for the old iRacing setup. Sorry I don't really know all the details with my computer, you know, what it's got inside it, I really don't care about that stuff at all. I know it could be upgraded, could be better, but that setup has really been fun. I've had it for 10 months now. I enjoy the game. My girlfriend knows I enjoy the game. I'm always playing it, always fun. There's a bug right here. He's in the shadow realm now. Don't worry about it. But if you like this video, drop a like subscribe, drop a comment, whatever you want to do. Um, quick little brief video. Ain't much to talk about, son. The controller, the beanbag, and the TV, and you all set. Have a good day, y'all.